Hello friends, this video on separation of substances part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Talk a little about saturated solution because to solve this mystery we need to understand the concept of saturated solution. So let's try to understand saturated solution first and then we will come back to the mystery. Now, before we talk about saturated solution, let's talk about solution as such. We often, you, we have used terms like sugar solution, salt solution very often. So what exactly is a solution? So when a substance is dissolved in a liquid, it forms a solution. So when we mix sugar in water and such that sugar dissolves in water, then we say that a solution is being prepared. So the solid particle that is being mixed in the uh, solution, that is called solute and the liquid is called solvent. So solvent refers to the liquid and solute refers to the substance that is dissolved. So this is the substance that is dissolved. So a solute and a solvent together form a solution. Now the question is, when we talk about mixing a solute to a solvent, now this little guy has a question that can I add 10 spoons of salt in a glass of water? So how much amount of salt can the glass of water dissolve in it? Dissolve in it. Let's say you have one glass of water and I have added 2 teaspoons of salt and when you stir it, it completely gets dissolved. Now let's say I add 4 more teaspoons of salt. Again, I stir it, it gets dissolved. Again, I add four more spoons of salt. So do you think that if I keep on adding more and more salt, it will still get dissolved in water? No, that is not the case. Because if I take one glass of water and if I take two kg of salt and add to it, do you think it will get dissolved? No, of course not. So there is a limit beyond which if we keep on adding more salt, it will not get dissolved. So the salt will remain at the bottom of the water. So that limit up to which the water will dissolve the salt that is being added is said to be the level of saturation. So saturation means the threshold, the upper limit of anything. So here also we talk about saturated solution. A solution is said to be saturated when no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent. So that means the solvent has reached its maximum limit of how much solute it can dissolve. So in that case, let's say if you keep on adding more salt, once the solution is has reached its saturation level, even after that, if you keep on adding more salt, what will happen? So that salt will settle down at the bottom. So it will not get dissolved in the solution. So that is the concept of saturated solution. However, let's say uh, I, I want to increase the saturation level of a solution. So can I do that? Let's say if you think of this glass of water, let's say the saturation point for this glass of water is uh, say four spoons of salt. So if you add beyond four spoons, that will not get dissolved. Now let's say if I want to increase this saturation point, I want it to have a saturation point of say six spoons of salt. So can I do that? Can I change that saturation point? Let's have a look. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.